After learning how to key in all your data into your profiles module, the next step that you want to do is to process payroll. So how to process payroll, you head to the main dashboard and click on the payroll module here. This will bring you to the first step in processing payroll. <clears throat> so the first thing that you need to do under this step is to select your pay period. So the year, month, and whether you're processing for the whole month for your employees. And then you can select the employees that you want to process payroll for. Automatically, all active employees will be checked in the system and all resigned employees will be unchecked. This is to prevent any uh, unnecessary or accidental processing of payroll for resigned employees in the system. So after you're happy with who has been selected here, you can then head to the next step. So this next step actually shows you how our leave module as well as, as, well as our payroll module are integrated. If there's been any approved leave applications in a leave module, it will actually be ported over to the payroll module for processing here, as you can see. Under the step, you can see that no paid leave has been keyed in as a leave deduction here, and things like annual leave as well as maternity leave will be included as a leave payment in the system. So once you're happy with what it's showing, you can see the number of days that has been applied for. You can see the prorated amounts here as well. If you're happy with what it's showing in the system, you can then head to the next step. This next step is where you'll be able to key in all your pay items for your employees here. So you can key it in according to two different tabs. And the first tab is the monthly payment and deduction tab for you to key in any recurring payments into the system, like your employee's basic pay or any allowances to be included. You can key in the type, amount, and any remarks. So this is for recurring items. The system will actually recognize that these items are recurring under the monthly payment and deduction tab and will appear in recurring payrolls. For the ad hoc payment and deduction tab, these are more for irregular items like your bonuses as well as any reimbursements. You can key in the type, amount, and any remarks as well. And finally will be the hourly and daily attendance tab. If you pay out uh, overtime hours to your full-time staff, you'll be able to key this in. If you pay out any regular hours to your part-time staff, you'll be able to key it in here as well. Under new item, you can key in the type, number of hours worked, rate of pay, and the amount will be multiplied for you. So that is it for your payments. You can, you can just choose to key in your pay items in these specific tabs here under the third step of processing payroll. So after you're done with that and you're happy with what it's showing, you can head to the summary page, which is the second final step of payroll. You can check through all the amounts showing here and everything that you've keyed in so far in the system will be added together under this gross payment column. You can even toggle between the different payment methods that your employee would like to be paid out by, either bank transfer or check. And if you're happy with everything showing, you can then head to the final step of processing payroll, which is the month total page. So in this page, this is where you know that your payment has been fully processed in the system for all of your employees. So yeah, it's as easy as that.